Grant us listening ears, flow with the tides, connecting our... Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Bulabinaka to you all, and welcome to this uh, special event. Cere celebrating Fiji's commitment to sustainable and prosperous future for our ocean. On behalf of the Fiji government, through the ministry, I would like to extend a special welcome to Mr. and Mrs. Wait, Bulabinaka, to you both. And welcome again to Fiji. It's in indeed and a great pleasure to welcome you, along with the WAIT team, to Talanoa, to strengthen coordination aligned with our efforts to support Fiji and the ocean for ocean management. At the outset, I would like to express our sincere gratitude to the WAIT Institute for reaffirming its commitment to Fiji to help advance the management of 100% of Fiji water and support the designation of a 30% full protected network of marine protected areas. In the face of the growing list of threats to our ocean, namely climate change, habitat destruction, IUU, and pollution, the Fiji government remains steadfast to its ocean commitment and we we'll acknowledge that this MOU represents a significant step towards achieving this commitment. This MOU is a statement to share the convent to ensure the long-term sustainability of Fiji ocean resource. The Fiji government recognizes the importance of our ocean resource, not only as a stimulator for the economy, economic, the national growth, and national growth, but are vital to the sustainable livelihood of our local communities. I would like to recognize the hard work and the leadership of all partners, practitioners, and relevant stakeholders in this space for steering us through the robust inclusive consultation and providing technical support. I wish to emphasize my new role that we need to ensure a good balance of protection and production, making sure our local community receive the maximum benefit for this common goal of protection. I also wish to say that in the spirit of striking the balance of protection and production, that the voice of key players in the, in the industry is so held considered, considered. I acknowledge the substantial progress that has been made so far in this space. Let's not reinvent the wheel, but rather complement to the great work being done by those in this room and work together to achieve our shared goal and targets. As Team Ocean Friends, there is much work to be done to realize our ocean commit commitment. And I look forward to your initial support and cooperation in this regard. As the saying goes, I could, a man is, no man is an island. The Fiji government, can do it alone, partner is in space, can, can do it alone. What is required in constant effort and all hands on deck approach achieve a commitment made including certain priorities of Fiji's natural open policy. Going forward, we must preserve a necessary promise. We have made, maintained the gain and we have achieved to finish what we have started. Once again, thank you, Mr. Wade and your accepting management team from the Wade Institute and Blue Prosperity Fiji for hosting this event, reaffirming our close commitment together, everyone achieve more. Together, we can and we will, for the benefit of our people and the future of our generation. Uh, and thank you all for coming, all, all the, the, the dignitaries and people that have, have come out tonight. I, I, I really appreciate it. You know, people often ask me, why I, I support this effort to do, uh, to do ocean conservation and uh, of all the things you could, you could do in the world. And, and 
to me, the ocean is, 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 is the bulk of the planet. It, it is half of every breath we take. It is, provides food, it provides livelihoods. Uh, it touches everyone at some, some point uh, in their life. And it's not just about the fish, it's about the combination of fish and people and livelihoods. And it's not just conservation for the sake of conservation, it's conservation for the sake of sustainability and, and improving both the environment and livelihoods at the same time. Uh, and doing together, working together with, with, with people to develop solutions. So everything we do around the world is done in conjunction with local communities and local stakeholders. I'm very, very happy to hear of the, 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 the new government's recommitment to working closely with the local communities because without that knowledge, without that, that, uh, that historic knowledge, we can't do what, what we do because people in the communities that live by the ocean, live off the sea, uh, they know more than, than we'll ever learn. Um, we are going to launch one of the biggest uh, uh, efforts I think it's been seen in Fiji hopefully this year. There, there are two big things that we do in our work in, in marine spatial planning, which basically is, you know, kind of, you know, think of it, it's kind of a boring thing, really. Marine spatial planning, it sounds real technical. It's zoning the ocean. And a lot of people think it's, you're going to take things away and say, oh, you can't do this here, you can't do that there. I like to think of it as, as it's sustaining and protecting places and then saying, okay, you can do this here and do that there. But how do we do that? The first thing we do is we do an extensive stakeholder consultation. It's a thing called the Ocean Use Survey, where we'll survey tens of thousands of people uh, of how they use the ocean, uh, how it interacts, what's, what's most important to them, and what's most valuable to them. And then we create these heat maps of, of, of how the ocean is used. And it's a visual tool that will aid the government of Fiji in making the decisions that they need to make uh, to protect what needs to be protected and to develop these sustainable plans to manage 100% of their oceans and protect 30% of it. Uh, but you can't just do it with just people's opinions. We do something else. We do a lot of science. Uh, so uh, also this year we will be conducting, uh, with the support of the local communities and the support of the, the Fijian government, one of the most extensive underwater surveys, uh, or the most extensive underwater survey ever undertaken in Fiji. Well, we'll be surveying uh, with through thousands and thousands of dives, uh, the health of the reefs, uh, the biomass, the biodiversity, uh, the water quality, all throughout, all throughout, throughout Fiji, all the way from the Lao Group up to the Great Northern Reef, down to the Asawas, and down to the southern coast, around the entire coastal area of, of Fiji, we'll be doing extensive expeditions. So we'll take that scientific baseline and, and all of the information that we'll learn from the stakeholder surveys, and this is data that we'll provide to the Fijian government. It's not, we don't own this data. One of the big things we do is share the data to work with so everybody can make, make better decisions uh, on what we do. And then we work together in a very collaborative process. Uh, at the end of the day, the Fijian government owns this process. This, we are just providing the technical resources, the assistment, some program management skills sometimes to keep programs on track. Um, uh, and we just help shepherd along. At the end of the day, it's, it's the government that's making the decisions, and, and governments make decisions on behalf of the people. And, and what we do and why we do is to benefit people in the long run and to really develop a sustainable ocean because Fiji is a large ocean state, uh, and it's highly dependent on the ocean for both tourism and, and it, its, its livelihoods. And we hope that all the work we do at the end of the day, it's not easy, it doesn't happen overnight, it takes a lot of commitment and it takes a lot of time, but our hope is that it will benefit not only the environment, not only the fish, the beautiful reefs and species that Father talked about so eloquently, but also all of the people that livelihoods depend on it. So thank you all for coming out tonight. It's an honor and privilege to be here uh, on behalf and helping and assisting the Fijian government to do uh, what they've done. I applaud them uh, to taking the courageous stand because not a lot of countries are, are taking this, the the, making the commitment to protect a large portion of their environment, their waters and their lands. And people say, oh, in order to do that, you have to take something away from somebody and we don't have the money and we don't have the time. Uh, my thing is you, don't, you can't afford not to. And we don't have the time not to do it uh, because otherwise the future doesn't look very bright. Uh, but if we start now, one of the great things about the ocean is it's proven the ocean comes back very quickly. Uh, and I was up traveling around the Great Northern Reef and. I saw some areas that were pretty severely overfished, and that, that makes me very sad. Uh, but then you see places that can come back very quickly if you just 
give it a little bit of a break. And there was great stories about when they did um, some, some conservation efforts, how quickly it came back, and then they went away. But, so I like to think of marine spatial planning as a, an ongoing process. That's the other way to think about this, too. It's not something that we do and you're just done with it. It's something that we hope to leave a legacy and build capacity and train and inspire young people to become experts in this field uh, and so they can continue to support this work because you know the environment is constantly changing. We're also being threatened with the impacts of the climate change and raising ocean temperatures and ocean acidification. So things are gonna change. So we need to leave behind uh, an incredibly skilled local team of people who can carry on uh, on this legacy. Uh, people often ask me, so, oh, Ted, how, how long does the Weight Institute or the Weight Foundation plan to be in Fiji? Well, we plan to be here for a long, long time. It's, we, we're not, our, our work is never done, uh, but I think we can make a lot of progress in a short period of time uh, if we work together. So I'd like to thank everybody for coming out. I want to applaud the government again for your support, and thank you for having me back here, and look forward to coming back again. So thank you, everybody. Appreciate it.